everyone in this video i will explain how to configure global protect on palo alto firewall this is a small lab setup for better understanding these are servers behind the palo alto firewall lisa is an external user and she wants to connect these server through public internet so for this i need to configure global protect on palo alto firewall the process is quite complicated but however if we follow the steps then it works so i will show the required step for global protect configuration with you these are six steps so firstly i will configure the authentication profile on palo alto firewall and the palo alto is running on version 9.1 so for the first step we need to go to the devices then authentication profile then here add if you are in the live environment then the types so as you know lot of like radius i'll the apticas you can use but uh, here i'm using the test environment so i'm choosing the local database so giving the name local database i'm aligning all the users in the list so they all are able to access the global protect so my next step is certificates which i showed you here so let me generate the certificate gp hyphen cert here i am giving the ip for the global protect i will connect through this ip and i need to check on the certificate authority and just generate the certificate a certificate has been successfully generated moving for the next step ssl and ts tls service profile click on add gp hyphen ssl slash tls call the certificate here i'm choosing the minimum version is 1.0 and as the maximum version is 1.2 here click on okay yeah in this video my more focus is on configuration part so guys i'm really sorry that i will not explain any inside terms here but we would make another video for the global protect for theoretical part so let's move on the next step for the tunnel zone and the interface so for this we need to go on network zones click on add giving the name gp hyphen vpn choose the type layer 3 enable the user identification zone has been successfully created go on the interface click on add i'm using here two because still one i already used so maximum digits here is 9999 i'm choosing the default routes and i'm calling the gp vpn security zone here click on okay so my next step is here is now gateways as i show you here click on add give the name gp hyphen gateway i'm choosing the interface ethernet 1/1 then authentication call the ssl tls here create the client authentication gateway client authentication profile is local database click on okay move towards agents click on tunnel mode and make sure uh, we will enable the ipsec here next in the
in the client settings i am adding here client ipm config in the ip pool so let's add ip pool here 192.168.80.0/24 so once i will connect to the global protect then i'll get the ips from this range in the split tunnel i add my local network of firewall 10.12.0.0/24 and click on ok in the rest tabs uh, nothing is required just click on ok moving forward for configuring portals as uh, this is the last step so in the portal click on add give the name gp hyphen portal choose the interface one and rest of the settings will be factor default then in authentication choose the gpssl tls in the authentication click on add client hyphen hot choose authentication profile local database click on okay moving forward for agent click on add giving the name auth hyphen config in the internet not required anything else in the external add the public ip for the global protect giving the name gateway giving the ip Fifty two dot one seventy seven dot thirty seven dot one ninety three. Click on add. Choose any. Yes, click on OK. Click on OK. I am giving the agent user override key here 0808 0808 ok now the configuration has been done successfully let me commit the configuration it's done and uh, without any error so let me open the firewall through global protect ip this is the ip so it's giving the error for the certificate So before that, let me import the certificate in my laptop. Let me 
let me export certificate let me save the same certificate has been downloaded on my laptop and save has been saved so let me add the save in the trusted zone content certificates import click on next browse all types cert gp certificate open next add the certificate in the trusted root certificate authorities so click on ok next and finish certificate has been installed successfully on my laptop closing so if you can check here in the global protect portal going to login through the user so i need to create the user for this in the device section local user database click on users i already have one user so i am creating one user for lisa lisa click on ok and let me commit the configuration same has been committed click on the global protect portal trying to log in with lisa credential so here once you log in on the global protect portal you will getting these three options download the window 32 bit global protect agent 64 bit and if you are using the mac then you can use for the agent for the mac as well so I already downloaded the versions like uh, Windows 64 bit global protect agent in my laptop. Here I will show you. So let me try to connect, let me disconnect, let me try to connect again with the same. You just need to download the same and just uh, install next tech next nothing is required nothing much configuration here so if you can check after the login onto the global protect portal and once you download the same and install in your laptop you will you know just connect with the global protect vpn in your laptop so how i'll show you i'll show you by the cmd let me check uh, is i get the IP address from the particular pool or not. So you can check. So let me check the configuration. All it should be the IP should be from the range of 192, 168, 80 dot something. So let me check. So if you check, uh, I get the IP 192.168.80.1 which is from the range of the 192.168.80.0. So guys, here our configuration has been done and hope you like the video and requesting you guys please like the video and subscribe the channel please. Thank you.